And now for headlines from across the services. In a tragic week for the Marine Corps, two aircraft crashes took the lives of four service members. Three Marines died August 27th when their MV-22 Osprey crashed in Australia during a multinational training exercise called Predators Run. The drill included the militaries of Australia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and East Timor. There were 20 injured survivors who were transported to a hospital in the Australian city of Darwin. The three Marines killed in the crash were 29-year-old Captain Eleanor Bow, 21-year-old Corporal Spencil Collard, and 37-year-old Major Tobin Lewis. And on August 24th, a Marine pilot died in an F-A-18D Hornet crash in California. Major Andrew Mettler was the only person aboard the jet when it crashed near the Marine base in Miramar. Mettler was part of Marine All-Weather Fighter Attack Squadron 224, based in South Carolina. For updates on these stories, please visit MarineCorpsTimes.com. Well, Be All You Can Be is back again, again. Following a March relaunch of the well-known Army recruiting campaign that quickly got mired in its spokesman sinking into some legal trouble, the Army is back yet again with another swing. Out with a new series of ads called First Steps, the updated videos aim to deliver a quote, authentic portrayal of what it means to be a young soldier. The ads show soldiers arriving for boot camp and going through some of the early trials, getting a first patch, and firing a weapon for the first time. The Army, as well as the other services, have been facing recruiting challenges recently, with each branch trying its own methods to increase numbers. Good luck out there, recruiters. Next, what's in the box? Officials at West Point staged an elaborate event to unveil the contents of a nearly 200-year-old time capsule recently found on Academy grounds. After first x-raying the box to make sure there was something in there and avoid an infamous Haravo opening Capone's vault scenario, ask your sergeant major if you don't know, they brought out the item to great fanfare in a live event. All kinds of officials and experts gathered in the room to see the unveiling and people from all over the country tuned in to watch with breathless anticipation. Then, after curators wiggled free the lid with a specialized tool, the big moment had arrived and the top of the box came off. What do we see? <laughs> Nothing quite yet, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just set it to one side over there. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oof, you can just feel the awkwardness. Curators opened the capsule with hundreds of people watching, only to find nothing inside. Zero, basically some dirt. Later, curators did find one thing in the time capsule, a coin from the era, but that was it. The object is believed to have been buried in 1828 prior to the Civil War and just 26 years after the Academy was founded. Soldiers like a good prank, so maybe this was just some troops playing the long game. 